Okay, uh, bear with me, I'm using my phone for this. I just picked up a Ditchwich SK600 and I'm going to do a review on it. Um, I've been running heavy equipment for 25 years and I've really always wanted to run one of these little guys and I finally had a job small enough that was too big for our skid so we went and rented this um, so as a rental we're gonna see how this thing ha will hold up after I'm sure some crazy abuse um, this machine has 221 hours on it and I have literally about five minutes on it so my first impression on this is it seemed to operate very smooth uh, this is your forward and reverse controls which push them both forward to go forward both of them back to go back uh, hydrostatic just like a any other track vehicle pretty much um, and this is your bucket control which is a four-way joystick up down uh, dump scoop up I guess this is a has a diesel engine I'm not sure what the horsepower is on it um, but it did operate fairly smooth um, doesn't look like there's any kind of safety on it to stop the operation of the machine when you're not standing on it uh, the first thing I did notice is the bucket seems to be pretty sloppy um, and that's all from the mounting points where I don't know if that's supposed to be like that but it's it's holding on evidently um, it looks like it has a high flow and low flow hydraulic. Um, the tracks, you know, I don't know what repairs have been made to this or anything, but if it's original, it, they look like they're holding up pretty good. Uh, overall, it seems like a pretty good machine. Um, I'll add to this after I use it for my job, which I'm going to be uh, filling in some topsoil around some curbs. So I'll uh, try to turn this camera around so you can watch me and kind of see what somebody on with five minutes experience on it uh, really looks like. So here we go.
seemed pretty easy. Um, the hydraulics operated smoothly. Uh, looks like it was it's pretty easy once you uh, put some time on it to not do too much damage to your work area if you're working on grass or anything like that. Uh, as you saw, it didn't bog down when I got a full scoop out of the pile and when I idled it down to half throttle, if uh, you operate the controls lightly, it didn't bog down and made it a lot more controllable. Um, it does have a flexible platform to stand on that looks like it just has a rubber bushing or something of the sort. All in all, it seems pretty good to me, and uh, if I worked a lot of small jobs, I would uh, certainly buy one. So I hope this helps out a little bit if you are kicking around buying one. Other than the bucket being pretty sloppy on there, everything felt tight and uh, easy to use, operator friendly. So, uh, all right, hope that helped.